But I think the issue is, is what the proposal is suggesting take us to what we are saying we want to be. That's, that's where the, 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 the issue is. So the first thing is that I suspect that what we are dealing with is exactly what uh, my friend has been raising here. It is the issue of power. Who has power in the United Methodist? And if you are not very careful, we will end up involving ourselves in power wrangles and try to fix that via the general conference. So, as a person who's a little bit distant from where you know, this debate is, my question is, is it really true that a, 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 a reformation starts from the top? <laughs> so when you hear the people that are in the corridors of power pushing for reform, then you should know that it is not reform, but power consolidation. Mm. 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 So when you hear it is about the general secretaries, it is about the council of bishops, it is about this, then is it about really reform or this is about power? Who has to have power? So the second thing is that if you look at the process, the way the people that are driving this very process are assembled, you begin to agree with me that you know, it is about power. For example, 2004-2008 quadrennium, a consultant was hired, a lot of you would remember Matek, to do a study, but that study was never done outside the US. And then on the basis of a study done in the US, general, decisions are made that should, up, that should affect everybody. A kind of one size fits all. Yeah. And then the second thing is happening. If you look at it, the call to action, you know, if ever there is anybody from the Central Conference who was involved, it was cosmetic. But the real issues that inform this was all done in the US. True. Now, the most serious one, which I even tried to raise, was the assembling of the interim committee itself, IOT, Interim Operations Committee. It has eight people, and all of them are again from the US. Then I raised the question. Why is it that we don't have anybody from Africa, Asia, and Europe? And the answer was because we were looking for capacity and competence. Mm. And then, OK, so you tell me that Africa that raised Kofi Annan, Africa that raised a person like the General Secretary of the World Council of Churches, cannot, Sam Kobia that is, cannot identify a person to save on IOT of the United Methodist. Yeah. To me, that is not correct. Yes, and then it begins to say, what, what is the view of our colleagues on us? Mm -hmm. You see, so because of that, I, I doubt that the intentions have anything to do with the growth of the church where it is growing. Mm 